Guys, oh, oh, all right, guys. Um, so now we're going to be doing number two on the final exam, as requested on the chat room. So we're given this formula here. We're given two Cu2O plus Cu2S turns into six Cu plus uh, SO2. Okay. Um, so the question is, what is the percent yield of copper when 122 grams of of copper oxide is reacted with excess of copper sulfide? Or no, actually. This isn't co copper sulfide, is it? No, this is copper sulfide, sorry. Copper sulfide to give 153.1 grams of copper metal. Sorry, it's been a very long day. Anyway, so the first thing you should do is they provide you with this particular chemical, rea like this reaction, okay? First thing you should do is find out, well, is this balanced? Well, I looked at this before. It's balanced. Don't worry about it, but you should. No matter what, you should never take these ever without kind of um, finding out if they are indeed balanced, okay? Because that will throw off all of your mole ratios. So the first thing I, I need to do is kind of look at the question. What am I trying to find out? Well, if I get 153.1 grams of copper metal, let's say that, you know, we're not getting all of the copper metal that we should be getting from the very beginning, which is to say that, okay, we start with 122 grams of, of this copper oxide, all right? But should we be getting 153.1 grams from 122 grams of Cu2O? Let's, let's imagine a perfect world where at, there's absolutely no error and, and there's no way to lose anything, okay? Well, in that case, I need to find out, well, how, much, how many grams should I be getting? from 122 grams of, of copper oxide, okay? And the way that I would figure that out, all right, is by setting up a molar ratio, okay? But first I need to find out how many moles of copper oxide I have. So I'll take 122 grams of copper oxide and I'll, I'll do dimensional analysis. I'll convert this over to moles. So I've got 122 grams, I need moles. So I set this ratio here, one mole of Cu2, uh, sorry, of, of copper oxide over 143.0926 grams because I know that that is the formula mass of copper oxide. I use formula mass and not molecular mass because this is indeed an ionic compound and not a covalently bonded. Uh, and so in that case, this should be a formula mass. But anyway, we have 143.0926. Now let's say I were to do it straight from here, okay? Just these two parts. What I would get are the number of moles of, C of copper oxide that I, that I actually have. Okay, so in this case then, all right, that's nice and good, but now I need to find out, well, how many coppers am I going to get per mole of copper oxide, all right? Because I have a certain number of moles of copper oxide, but I'm really just concerned about, about copper metal, all right? So what I can do is I can look at this top uh, reaction, okay? And I can see that for every two moles of copper oxide, I'm actually gonna get six moles of copper, aren't I? So I can set a ratio. I'm going to say six moles of copper on top of two moles of copper oxide. So then this will cancel out, this will cancel out, and I'll be left with moles of copper. But even that is not good enough. No. What you really need is, well, okay, you have this much copper. Well, how, what is its mass, right? Because we're trying to find out what is the percentage yield of copper given this mass, okay? So then we'll multiply that by the mass of one mole of carbon, uh, sorry, of one mole of copper, which is 63.546, all right? Right? And if we work this straight through, keep in mind, let's do this step by step. I start with the mass of the substance that I have. I then convert it into the number of moles of that substance I have. In this case, the moles of copper oxide. And then I'll find out at this point the number of moles of, of copper that I have here, right? And then after this, because I'm multiplying it by the molar mass of copper, I'll find out what well, the total mass I have of copper. That means that if, the, if the, in a perfect world, all right, I should be able to get 162.54 grams of copper from 122 grams of copper oxide. So our percentage yield is saying, okay, well, we, we actually got 153.1 grams of copper metal. So it, it, compared to the perfect world, what percentage of copper are we actually getting, okay? So the way you do that is that you basically take uh, over here is, our, is the amount that we have, right? The amount that we were given, which was 153.1 grams of copper metal. And we need to find out what percentage of that, you know, what percentage of 162.54 grams of C, you know, it, that this is, all right? So what I'll do is I'll divide. I'll divide 153.1, I'll divide the part by the whole, and I'll multiply that by 100%, and I'll find out that 153.1 grams of copper 
uh, is in fact 94.2% of the theoretical yield. Thank you very much.